bike rides. Today we're doing a chain looping video. We're using Ken Z Moto Chain Loop. It's MX3. Um, it's O ring safe, so for you guys that worry about the O rings, um, there's two ways of doing this. There's the whole lean it over on the stand and get someone to hold it up, but with a bike this long, it's just impractical to do it. I can't. Um, the other way of doing it is getting a jack, which is what we're going to do. We're going to get a jack and stick it under something solid in here. So there's normally a suspension bottom point on this, and it has a mount for a, a center stand. So we're using the mount for the center stand to jack it up off. And so, yeah, we'll get into that. Okay, you guys, we're jacking it up off this point here. We're just using a scissor jack. Since I don't have anything else, and there's a car here, so I got the scissor jack out of the car. And we're just jacking off. This is the bolt for a center stand, which I don't have as an accessory yet. And what I'm wanting to do is, while it's on the side stand, is to get the back wheel off the ground. I could put it further back, but this suspension arm on this doesn't have the bottom of the suspension coming down here. Whereas on the Kawasaki we have that, and that's where we're going to check it off on that. So this is the Inazuma 250. Um, but I was just going to hold to get it centre, so it's off the ground. You don't need it that far off the ground, it's just off a little bit. And you want to spin it that way when you're when you're looping it. Okay, guys. So we're sticking a bit of cardboard under here because you don't want to get it on your wheel when you're spraying this. Um, it's really bad if you get it on your tires because obviously your tire gets slippery then. Um, not too bad if you get it on the sidewall or the rim. Just makes a lot of dirt. This needs to be folded up more. Um, a shoebox slit is good for this. You want to stick it behind where you're spraying on the wheel to try to avoid getting it on your tire there. So if you come down by it, you can see where it is here. This is where we're going to spray. On that bottom leg, you want to shake your can well. Just pretty sure it stays on the back here to shake it. Always just don't want to get that stuff nearly on a cushion. Fold it up quickly. Should be alright. Okay. Oh, I have to go the other way because that cardboard's going to rip it otherwise. So I just want to get some lube on there. Get it. All nice dripping, and if you white, that so let's use this to clean it since it's, this chain's not that duty. On a really duty chain, we'll get a special brush designed for it. There's brushes that clamp over. I highly just suggest that if you're doing this quite a lot. And you just wanna, you just wanna clean all that stuff off. All that gunk and that shit on the chain. Give it a good. And on the inner link is the bit that you want to worry the most about. So you see all that shit we just got off there? And then you want to reapply some more lube to the inner wing. Until you see it come through again, like you can see that that's glossy. So it's gone around the full rotation. And you want to get this outer link. Get that 
it's going around its full rotation and then you want to get on that inner leg. And that one's hard to tell, but I roughly know how many rotations of the wheel I have to do to get all of that length done. So it's now loaded from all the angles, then you want to just get that out of the length. That's not really too necessary if your chain's not that dirty like this one isn't. But just for that extra peace of mind, I just wanted extra lube. And while we're here, we might as well check chain tension. That's a little bit. I think that's actually a little bit too much play. What do you think, Byron? No, oh, it's all right. It's not too bad. I reckon it's pretty good. I reckon with the rider's weight on that, that would be all right. So you just had to lube, lube your chain in pretty much a few minutes. It's not that much of your time. You know, twenty dollars for lube. A few rags, a bit of cardboard, and if you're, you know, if someone's got a car, you just steal the jack out of that and put that under your bike. Okay, here we go, guys. So we get, we get low, we're going under here on the suspension arm, we're going just a little bit on on that lip there. I don't want it to slip off. Straighten up. Straightened up and position it roughly in the middle. This is a 2015 Kawasaki Ninja 300cc. So that back wheel is already off the ground there, guys. Now, this went on just to be extra safe, give it a little bit of a jiggle bar. See, so that's not slipping off, nothing, that's solid. Um, this is quite a easy bike to do it on since you haven't got the exhaust on this side. Oh, this is a linked chain. Mm -hmm. It's got the clip there. Yeah. Oh, that's right. This has got a second. This has had a chain changed on it before. Yep. And you can see the sprocket's a bit naked since Byron didn't lube his chain. <laughs> enough so this is a clear example of what happens here if you look at these teeth here you can see that the ground in a little bit you can see the wear on the inside of the seat there you can see that black bit there that's where it hasn't worn in and then the middle there is where you've worn it heaps and it'll start sharp toothing so anytime your sprocket looks like it's got a sharp teeth that's when you want to go and buy a new chain bring it back down just don't wind it down Pull it back out. You can do this with a trolley jack. Most jacks. Um, there's a few ways. Obviously, a few ways of doing that. And if I get Brian to de uh, Byron to demonstrate how we would do it, if we got two people and we wanted to do it without a jack and we didn't have a jack, so I'll get Byron to do that. But it requires some muscle and some effort. Is using the side stand where we'll lean the bike over and Byron would have to hold that for a while which would be very would be a lot of strain and it'd be very tiring to hold that up for that long so go ahead Byron so pull it up. this doesn't work with a lot of litre bikes and maybe 650s but basically you just want to pull it up on the side stand and you have your friend spin it so it spins freely now and then you can do it like that um, any bike with a center stand, you obviously don't need to do that. You can pretty much just put your center stand up, you can do it, whack it out. But obviously for all these smaller bikes, or the bikes that don't have them, so even some of the big choppers, you can't lean them over like that, but you can use a jack if you've got a big, obviously a little jack like that's not going to do it. You're going to have to have a big fucking trolley jack or something, a cart like a proper one and a half ton trolley jack put under that thing um that would be all right to lift it it actually has enough strength to lift it it's just that that plate on it's not very stable on such a large bike so i wouldn't recommend that uh, but for something like this or something like the inner something 
like a small 650 or roughly around about that you can do that and that's it guys so like subscribe this is infinity bike rides